Hey guys, this is my second video uh, regarding the uh, virtual box. Today we're going to be setting up Windows XP, uh, installing it onto virtual box. If you've seen in my video one that we walk through the the installation of virtual box and the setup of Windows XP, we haven't installed it. We just set it up, made sure the network settings and the RAM settings were all correct. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, left click here and go to start. And it says welcome to the first run wizard. So I'm just going to hit next here. So now I got to find where my image is. And I have mine on my desktop. So I'm just going to hit my desktop. ISO image open. This can be anywhere. Uh, D drive here is usually your CD-ROM. So if you have a, uh, a, a physical CD, you can just put it in your CD-ROM and use this. If it's somewhere on your computer's file system, just click over here. So I have mine selected. I'm going to hit next. Just simply hit start. It's just a summary. Okay, so any second now, it's going to load up. So here's your first screen for the Windows XP. I'm sure most people are a little familiar with this. Not much going on in this screen, it's just setting up and loading files. So, so what this means it's just uh, you have to hold right control to get out of the screen sometimes. Okay, so this, anyways, this first screen is uh, to set up Windows XP now. Just press enter, or you can repair it with pressing R. So we're going to go ahead and press enter. Gives you a little licensing agreement. Just hit F8 to agree. And here is your partition or your hard drive, let's say. So, um, if you see it in the first video, I gave it 15 gigs of hard drive space so that's what your unpartitioned space means so you can get a little creative here you can set up like a C drive and a D drive so your C drive can be like all your uh, Windows settings like your Windows itself and your D drive can just be for your files and your videos and your data so if you ever wanted to just kind of format you can just right uh, left yeah so you right click on your D drive and just hit format instead of actually formatting your whole computer. It doesn't really help with like viruses or nothing, so if you're not too worried about that, it is good though to make that separate partition. So here, as you can see in the second point, we can uh, create a partition in the unpartitioned space by pressing C. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I'm gonna give it a size. So for the C drive, which is the uh, operating system, I'm just going to give it, for virtual box, I'm just going to give it 5 gigs, so 5,000. I know it's a little more, but it doesn't really matter. So you can just hit enter now as you can select between the two. So you want to make sure C is selected and just hit enter. And you can do a quick format uh, or a full format always good to do NTFS. Quick just, the difference between quick and normal is quick won't check your hard drive for bad sectors. Uh, so all that means is it's going to check your physical hard drive if it's like has any damage to it to the to the filing and paging system. So for this video I'm clearly just going to hit the quick. And it just starts from here and this is where we wait for a little bit. I will be pausing these videos though, so. Okay, so here now it's gonna say your computer will reboot in 10 seconds, so just go ahead and let it do its thing. Or you can hit enter, and just make it go quicker. You have no idea how I feel. So it says here, press any key to boot, so no, you don't want to do that. Just let it go. And now we're going to get into the uh, the core system. 
installation of things. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna again pause these videos because there's nothing much yeah. that yeah. you're gonna see. I will show you every step that do comes into play. So Thank you will you know how to install Windows XP and I will be covering all the systems. So I just wanted to start out with XP. A lot of people like it, it's still very popular. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so here's the first uh, window that we get. It's just uh, regional language options, pretty straightforward. So I'm speaking English, so I'm going to hopefully install English. Uh, personalize your software. So this just names your product, I guess. So I'm just going to name it Paul. And you don't have to put anything in for the organization. So I'm just going to hit next. So your product key. So if you do have a product key, it's good to enter in that now. Just in this area here. Okay. So here's your computer name. So this is what, uh, um, like your your computer's name will be onto a network, or um, like when you check in your my computer, it'll this will be your computer name. So you can name this anything. I'm just gonna name this tests. Oh, sorry, tests. And the administrative password. <coughs> That name you put in at the starting there, where you had organization, this is going to be the password for that account. So I'm just going to name, I'm just going to give this password 1234. Horrible password, but for testing purposes, it's all right. So just hit next. So you set up your time and date, make sure everything's all good to go. And we wait a little bit more, then I'll be back. Okay, so here's your comes your network settings. Um, you can go to typical; it'll just pretty much set everything up for you, or you can go to custom and uh, custom settings. So you go to custom settings. You're pretty much just gonna do what the typical does, anyways, unless you're really picky and you're really trying to set up a good server and everything but for this I'm just gonna go to typical settings so here is you got your choice to join a work group or a domain and I don't have a work uh, domain here at my workspace that I'm at now so I'm just gonna keep this as a work group and if you did want it to join a domain you can just click here and let's say it was test.com then that's how you would enter it or test at com okay for now we're just going to make sure work group is selected and hit next so now it's just going to reboot one last time and I should be loading right into my login screen now and they have their great music here. Just, you just can click next, or if you really want to, you can go around and check things out. Um, if you were doing this at home, I would advise you to click this. It just installs the updates now. It's recommended. It's good to have your stuff updated. Uh, for me though, right now, I'm just gonna go not right now at this time, just so I get things done a little quicker. So now it's connected to my internet. Hopefully my NAT setting is working and set up properly. So yes, this, so what this is asking is, will this computer connect to the internet through a network? No, this computer will connect directly to the network or internet. Or yes, this will connect through a local area network or home network. So yeah, I'm just gonna hit yes here. 
them going through my computer. Um, activate Windows, yes. Uh, for registering Windows, no, you don't have to do that. You can if you want to, but I never do. So this will let me know if my key is really working. And there you go. So these will be some accounts you make on your computer. Uh, if you remember back at the starting, I had written, uh, I believe it was Test, I hope, or Paul. Actually, I can't remember. But that's going to be your administrative account. These names you see here are going to be the users on your system. So you can go write uh, Mike, Sylvie, and Jaslyn. Okay, and hit next. So now you're going to have three users created already for this experience. So thank you, everything worked. Just hit finish, and here's my users. Okay, so I'm just gonna use Mike, log in. And there you have it. Windows XP, uh, fully functional. Yeah, it's just telling me that I don't have any antivirus or nothing on there. And it is running within my computer. Just to show you that the network and everything works. I'm able to search MSN. So yeah, there you go guys. Uh, if you want to check back into more videos, I'm going to be showing you how to like use XP and set things up. Uh, you know, configure it pretty good, and I'm also going to be updating more Sorry. installation tours on Ubuntu and Windows 7 and Vista and all that. I might skip Vista, you know. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching.